This is 2OF Entertainment. This week we are again in North London, but this time we're covering Mill Hill. We have Virgin Active on the right and Waitrose on the left, and we're joined by a guest today, and a Mill Hillian, as they say. I'll let you do your own introduction. I think that was short and succinct. Thank you. I hope. Anyway, this used to be my hood a few years ago when I was at school in this area. This area is uh, in the sort of what used to be called the Green Belt of North London. Very green, very leafy, very suburban. Uh, you almost forget you're in London, but you are <laughs> well within London. I think uh, just as reference, you can drive to Brent Cross Shopping Centre from here. Uh, we're just behind Mill Hill East Tube Station. Uh, we, you can get to Brent Cross from here in 10 minutes, maybe under 10 minutes. Um, so a very accessible area. So we're just turning left out of this little, very uh, small convenient retail park. which has got a Waitrose and a Virgin Active where all the jet set of Mill Hill come and hang out and drink coffee all day long without really doing any exercise. And there you go, have it. On the left, you've got Mill Hill East, which is on the Northern, Northern line. line. Yes. Zone four. Zone 4. And on the right hand side, beautiful new um, housing development. When I say new in the last 10 years, uh, this was actually much, much more open space, but they have done, I think, quite tastefully some. Um, what used to be there? I, you know, that's a very good question. I think they were open fields mainly. Um, I mean, you can see as we're going up the hill, we're going up uh, the ridgeway. So one question, Mill yeah. Hill got yeah. its name from the mill on I the hill. It, 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 is that it, still here? It, it, I, it, I don't believe it is, but Mill Hill today is a much smaller area than it used to be. These used to be a collection of farms and fields, and you would go down to sort of uh, Edgware, Burnt Oak area, which, which, where there was a farm called Goldbeater's Farm. So this used to be all farms and settlements farms, came up around yes. the 14th century, I believe. Yes, yes, I think you're right. Um, and as you can see, as we're driving up Mill Hill, and this very picturesque area is used in a lot of movies um, uh, and a lot of uh, dramas. I think this one we went past just now from North London Studios, um, or maybe slightly further, was uh, Arkham Asylum in the, um, from the Batman movies. From the Batman movies. Uh, I think it was the Francis Crick Institute. And it was a, a very uh, imposing looking building. Um, and they brought it down and uh hey ho development oh actually it's in front of us so i don't know if you can actually see between the tree line there uh at the end you can see a, a building with a with a green copper colored roof that used to be the francis crick institute and um that was arkham asylum in the uh, so the previous building used to be the arkham asylum that's right that's right it's the location of and it's such a shame they, they actually had to knock that down and by the way Given the way this area is laid out, there's no end of beautiful little pubs and Look, sorry, uh, just, there's no horse riding allowed. No horse riding, right. which you don't get that <laughs> in uh, down, you know, uh, uh, in many places. Oh, nice pub, by the way, the Adam and Eve. Um, spent a few hours here, pub garden, all that kind of stuff. It's sort of a very relaxed area. Um, very prestigious school up here that I went to, fortunately. Uh, about 40 years ago, but because of that, in, that, in this catchment, you get a certain type of crowd that lives here, um, uh, sort of well-heeled uh, people, and um, I don't know if you can see on the right-hand side, there's some fairly nice new developments. No, these are genuinely new developments. These are new developments. Mm. Yeah. But it's interesting to say, I mean, the properties range at the top end around 18 to 20 million. 
and then they go all the way down to 300,000. There's the full mix. Yeah, yeah, there's full mix. The By the way, on the right here, on the right, if you go down, there's some fairly nice sort of mansion style properties. It's a, it's a very hidden, again, one of these, I like to use this word when I find them, hidden jewel of London. On the left, by the way, uh, where you can see this church uh, structure is Mill Hill Village. Tiny little village with a little pond. Very quaint. If you were walking around there, you would not think for two seconds that you were in London. It just would not occur to you. And um, as we drive down the Ridgeway, here on the left is the start of a really, really large estate called, which is Mill Hill School. Um, the nice little cottages. Yeah, beautiful. Well. Absolutely beautiful. Very quaint. And they, they started about 10, 12 years ago there. Their uh, nursery school here, Grimsdale. Um, so yeah, this area is covered by quite a few schools. Of it, it feels it feels very Eton esque. It feels very um, sort of countryside. And we got Mill school. Hill School, and that's Mill Hill left, School on the left. Which is where you sort of study. I well, I didn't sort of study. I actually did study. Okay. But um, yeah, but this estate carries on and on and on. You know, this this school in itself is quite imposing. Very it's got Etonian, a few, isn't it? Yeah, and very it's... lots of war memorials, lots of. Uh, well, it's an old, it's literally old Lovely school. Churches. Um, so give me some history about what you felt growing, you know, studying here and how it made you feel. Well, you know, it was very different then. I mean, I, I went to school here in the 80s and it had a very um, um, settled vibe. Oh, by the way, sorry, there's Belmont School up there. We're going to turn left here, by the way, next to the Three Hammers. The Three Hammers is a pub where famously most Mill Hill schoolboys uh, and most of them were boys at that time because before it became a mixed ed school, um, would come and hang out and, you know, sneak a, a pint in. Um, and, um, we're, but by the way, just out of context, we're heading down. This is, I believe, Dawes Lane. I can never remember. I It'll think it's Dawes Lane. Anyway, so. Um, and you've got a few residential care homes, but behind on the left hand side, um, again, behind all of these residential developments is Mill Hill School. Oh, oh, this is a beautiful development, by the way. This is a uh, luxury top end Mill Hill Place, apartments. I very, yeah, Mill Hill Place. Oh, a very interesting one. On the right hand side, up the hill on the right, um, is what, when I was at school, was a convent and it had a ghost story associated with it. The, 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 the shadow, uh, the black shadow, deep shadow of a nun that would, would roam the grounds. But anyway, that has been turned into a top end um, uh, luxury uh, residential development as well. And I think there's one apartment or one section of that that is on the market for something like 50 million pounds. Um, some really, really, there are some you know, unique properties, here. unique things here. And would you say this is more family now or it's still it, young? young family, no, it's mainly family, family but you, you, it is very fashionable. We're going to hook a right here. Uh, that's Mill Hill Park. That's coming up on the right-hand side, but we're going to hook right next to it. And by the way, still on the left, you've still got Mill Hill School. You've still got Mill Hill School grounds, so it's huge. And and the reason I keep going on about Mill Hill School, apart from the fact that I went there, is very unique in terms of schools in London. It has huge. It's a bit of a Hogwarts kind of situation. It has no end of boundless fields and cricket pitches and rugby pitches and facilities. And you can imagine that being such a substantial geographical part of Mill Hill, the draw of um, uh, people to live here is is that school and its prep school and its and its nursery school. So, um, you it's know, it's a great that, area for it's children a great, to be educated. That's right, it's, and a good bus route as we seem to be following this two forty bus. There we go. On and, our and we're heading down in the direction of Mill Hill Broadway. Uh, which is um, where probably we're going to finish this drive because the whole point was to drive from Mill Hill East Tube Station, which is on the Northern Line, down to Mill Hill Broadway Station, which is on the, what type Thames, of line? I think it's Thameslink. Thameslink. The zone 4 still again. Yes. So what we're going to do here, Jalpesh. And that's where the bus depot is as well. Right, so we could do a cut across there, but it's it's a bit difficult. We're going to go right behind the, the black Porsche uh, Carrera. And we'll have another conversation about which is, Which is, which, which is very typical of this area. By the way, across the road, you have Porsche craft. Um, 
which which kind of says, says something to you about the type of people that live around it. Oh, and up there on the hill, you can see the convent that I was talking about with oh, its amazing. tower. Okay. A very imposing building. I love that building. Um, to live there is a little bit of a... It's not accessible. On the left. Is it accessible? I don't, it's worth well, private um, to, to go inside. Uh, uh, you either live there or you're visiting someone. Uh, so in itself, that, that is a plus point as well, mm. I would imagine. So we'll hook a left here and cut back towards Mill Hill Broadway. And obviously going towards the right. And if you go right Tottridge. towards Tottridge, exactly. I think your first video was on Tottridge. And we're going to cut across this roundabout <coughs> towards Mill Hill Broadway. And by the way, the road that we are cutting across, the... Um, the A41, this is the road that heads down towards Brent Cross and then thereafter on Finchley Road and Swiss Cottage. And if we went down the road on the left hand side, we would be at Brent Cross in maybe five minutes at the max. And the good thing about Brent Cross is the free parking. The free parking, I've, uh, which I, I can never understand why Westfield charges for you to park, but uh, at least we still have Brent Cross. Yeah, Brent Cross has been essential to my life because. Uh, uh, it's one of those places that feels like home. You you don't think about going there. You just park. And this is Mill Hill Broadway, a collection of small, beautiful cafes, pizza shops, restaurants, uh, your local convenience. It's proper, proper old school high street. And a little sports shop here that always has a tennis racket sales, which I used to always get my tennis racket sales. Uh, millet Sports. Correct. Millet Sports. There's queues still to this day. Um, sales. Yeah, so you get the full works on here. You get your local tandoori, your, your you know, Chinese takeaway, but, you know, in a, in a very sort of uh, uh, comfortable environment. I, I don't associate this area in any sense with violence or anything like that. So you feel very comfortable when you walk around here. Um, so that's great. I think we've had a good insight. And by the way, before we finish, once again, we, uh, we, we finish at the, on the left-hand side at Mill Hill Broadway which is, I think, uh, someone told me that from here into um, Blackfriars, is there a station at Blackfriars? It's sort of like 12 minutes. There is, yeah. Oh, is it that quick? That's it. Because I know the Thames Link is obviously quite... Very quick, Thames yeah. Link, into central London. As we turn back round and we go back down the route... Oh, by the way, if there is a Marks and Spencers in your area, that says something about your area as well. You've got your local food hall here on the left. Correct. So to sum up, it's been a great insight. Thank you for that. And um, I'm hoping to bring more guests along so we can have actual expert knowledge of people grown up in the area, who know the area, rather than just coming from my point of view. This is, this is really what I want to do is bring you the insight of an area from someone who's actually lived here or studied here or knows the area really, very well. So that's great. Thank you for that. And uh, any last comments or any last feelings you have whilst we drive past this area? Well, I, I will say this, and I was thinking about this, the flavor that Mill Hill gives, even today, which is kind of different from other parts in London, with the exceptions of Hampstead and sort of Belsley Park, is it still feels a little bit stuck in time, for which me is a really nice thing. It has a bit of a slightly oldie-worldy feel, notwithstanding the architecture and buildings in Mill Hill. but. Uh, very comfortable feel. Excellent. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this journey and hopefully you look forward to the next one and we can talk more about property, about the areas, have, just comment and um, share and see, tell me what you think. I'll speak to you next time. Mm -hmm.